Hi, for the playback area, their assets are a community garden or farm, a nightclub proposal, um, which could be an issue as well, um, river regeneration, schools, scout groups, um, active residence group, and a library. Um, the issues are CP2 proposed, drug dealing, um, uh, specifically in Mavis Park, um, a Nigerian Pentecostal church that has recently opened, and no public toilets in the commercial areas. <clears throat> so to tackle these issues, we have um, two, two people. Um, we have Janie, um, who's English. Um, she's a graduate, um, probably in business studies or anything along those lines. She has experience in organizational development and campaigning. Um, she has experience in asset transfer. She's a good listener, um, interpersonal skills and negotiation skills. Um, she's a good networker. Um, she's very practical. Um, she's well-traveled. Her father was a diplomat, so she knows many cultures. Um, she's had a very eclectic upbringing. Um, she has knowledge of local government and policy. And then we have Adewale, um, who identifies both as African and, and British. Um, he's always lived in the area. Um, at present, he's a youth worker. Um, he likes working at the grassroots level with young people and with people from the area. Um, he's a good listener. He has good negotiation skills and interpersonal skills. Um, he has a good relationship with the community. Um, he's an ex-convict. Um, when he was younger, probably about 14 or 15, he was caught jaw-riding. But in a way, having been in prison and having come out and becoming a youth worker has endeared him to the community. So we think he'll be able to act as an interface between that part of the community and um, Janie's side of the community. He's IT literate, um, not actively religious, even though he has dreadlocks. So he identifies himself sometimes as a Rastafarian. Um, but his mom was Muslim and his dad was, was a Christian. So... He has a multi-faith background, late 30s or early 40s, and as I said before, he has a lot of local knowledge and competence about the area. Thank you.